John, so what are you doing there? I have devised a plan as far as trying to keep my bags dry. There's nothing worse than wet bags. Anyway, I've got a shovel bag here. I also got a gear bag over there. For your Polaris Dragon for my snowmobile? Polaris Dragon. Yes. And so. And what I do is I built a plate out of 0.160 aluminum, rounded off the edges and everything so it's not sharp. Let's look at that. It's um, 24 inches long and about 14 and a half to 15 inches wide. I want it a little bit under the original tunnel. And what I will do... Well, that's still for a second. Look at that. Okay. And what I will do on the back seat bracket here, I will take these bolts out here and long, use longer bolts along with some, uh, some shims to bring it up, maybe about an inch. Now we use that to bolt the front of the plate on. And then on the back, I got the bolts there, which will run into the original T-tracks, and I'll shim that up about an inch. And I have clearance between my tunnel and my plate. And hopefully, my bags won't get wet anymore. Now, why do your bags get wet? Where does the snow come in? The well, water? Snow hits the top of the tunnel and it runs into my bags and get them all wet. I sprayed my bags. So this is a little project you've done because you didn't want to buy waterproof bags. For those, so this for those correct. people, those people that don't want to spend extra cash on waterproof bags, they can do this clever thing. How long did this take you? Not very long. I used a jigsaw to cut it out. That took me about 45 minutes. And then I took the um, uh, double cut 10 inch file and I took the edge all the way down. Now you have a sander, a bench sander, and I took the corners off and rounded them off. And so it's not going to cut me if for any reason this thing goes flipping or anything. And uh, actually I could use this as a pancake criddle. <laughs> so we can have vittles up there in the woods. <laughs> would you, where would, a fried egg on it. <laughs> would you cook it on your engine? No. No. How warm is that going to get, though? I don't know. This is an experiment. Oh, so it might get too warm and cook your bags? No, no. No, it's not going to get too hot. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's exciting. So we'll take another photo when it's all installed. Okay. Right now, what do you do? Why is it all taken apart? Look at, you've got the I'm, shocks over there. I'm sending my shocks in to get them rebuilt. Oh, because... I do not want to do that. I'll let somebody else professionally do that. Okay, so this is John's DIY bag protector for his snowmobile, Polaris snowmobile. Say bye-bye. Bye now. Want to fry your baguettes?